So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is implement devops workflows in google doubt. So first of all click on start lab and now launch with credits and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. Now if you face this error just restart the browser I mean reload the browser and just start the lab. Now for this lab you need a github account so first of all open console incognito window. So for this lab you need a github account and if you don't know how to create I will show you how you can create. So now first of all wait for the page to fully load and now click on I understand. Now in the description box of this video I've shared this repo we will be using this. Now follow the video along with me otherwise if you miss get the error. So now here you have to just just like you create any account to just sign up using the email password and username and you are done with that. Now I have already created account so I will sign in directly. So now once you click on sign in here you have to enter the username and password and click on sign in. Now sometimes you may be asked to enter the code that is verification two factor authentication code. So for that you can check the email with which you have created the github account. Now click on I agree and then click on agree and continue. Now activate the cloud shell here. So now wait for the cloud shell to activate this video is little bit tricky so i mean the video not tutorial is tricky so follow the way i'm doing otherwise if you miss step you won't be able to get the score and now click on authorize so even if you fail to collect the score i have a way how you can complete the lab again so now here the cloud shell is ready now we'll go to the description box and again this repo will be using this command now hit enter now we'll wait for these command to execute after that we'll be executing the github basically we have to sign in the github with the cloud shell and authenticate and authorize itself in simple words connecting the github to our cloud so finally the artifact rep repository is creating now we are enabling the permissions for the cloud cloud IAM. Now we need to sign in with the GitHub. So for that, you have to just press enter button. So now just use the arrow to move and just type. Don't type anything, just hit enter button. Now again hit enter. Now type Y and then hit enter. Now again hit enter, now again hit enter, now you have to just click on this link and sign in using the github account. Click on continue, you may ask to enter the OTP, so for that just check the mail. Now for device activation code, here is the one time code, copy it carefully, drag your mouse cursor and just leave the cursor, you will see the clipboard icon, just paste over here and now click on continue. Now here click on authorize github. Now finally you are set. Now it will execute the task automatically. First it will create a Kubernetes cluster. You can close this page and now wait for the cluster to get created. It will take 5 to 10 minutes. So wait for it.
now from here we have to open the trigger template configuration link so just open this link now we have to create two deployments so let me show you what we have to create first wait for the triggers page to load we have to create two triggers one is production and the second one is deployment so production enter the name here now scroll down a bit from here again scroll down remove this unwanted pop-up now from here you have to just select the repository so for the first time you need to connect the repository now it's github only now click on continue and it will authenticate it by itself only if you ask to enter the username and password just sign in using the github username and password not your lab one the github one so once you have authenticated here you have to select the sample app if you have multiple repository you need to check only the sample app one otherwise if you select multiple repository you will get the error now click on i understand and just click on connect now wait for this to complete now you have to just select the github app now scroll down and from here you have to click on configuration cloud build so it's already cloud build and if as you can see here the build configuration is same so just let it be or just paste it for betterment now make sure there is no any extra space here now once it's done you have to select the service account you have to select the service account linked to your project id which one i have selected if you just select that only make sure there is no any extra mistake branch is same now just click on create now it will take one to two seconds after that we'll create a deployment trigger now we have to create another trigger name deployment trigger create here and now paste the name here now again select the repository it will show automatically because we have created only in the past now update the pattern basically branch to dev branch and just select it now again for the service account first we need to configuration update the configuration to dev file so just update it here after that just select the service account here now once you have selected you have to just click on create and wait for it to complete now it will take wait for a few seconds so that everything is fully loaded and we don't face any error now here just type y and hit enter now it will take some more time so you need to wait for it now if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing videos and if you need any other lab solutions you can comment down below If you want you can hit check my progress but it's better to wait for some time and hit again so we'll definitely get us full score and if you don't get full score i will tell you how you can retry the lab because you need to understand the lab functions before retrying otherwise you will mess with the lab So finally as you can see all tasks have been already completed now we'll hit check my progress for all the tasks meanwhile i have shown also like in the middle of the video i have tried to hit check my progress but it's better to complete the lab once and hit check my progress for all the task and as you can see we are getting score you need to wait for some time again hit to check my progress for all the tasks so as you can see we got the score and we'll definitely get full score without any issue so you need to wait for it finally you got the score and that's the way we have to complete the lab now if you face any error you have to just go back to your github repo 
and just open your profile and then select your repository you have to basically delete the sample app so that you can do this lab again with ease and if you do it only when you don't get full score just go to settings scroll down till the bottom and as you can see here we have delete this repository click on delete click on i have read now here copy the repository name with your user id and just paste over here and click on delete the repository so finally we have deleted the repository and that's the way we have to complete the